So I have over 200 smartphones, and a lot of them is oldie but goodies of their time. So I'm starting a new series that's called Oldie But Goodies and How Smartphones Have Aged Over Time. So let's have some fun. So LG Mobile is closed, but right before they closed their doors, they promised that they would fully support their last devices. Devices like the LG G8, the LG Wing, the LG Velvet, the LG V60. Well, surprisingly, they're keeping their promise. So I've been getting a lot of people telling me that they've received Android 13 on the LG Wing. Unfortunately, I didn't get the update until now. My Verizon Wireless LG Wing just received the Android 13 update. So let's have some fun with the oldie but goodie. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So the most innovative device of all times is now receiving Android 13. Look, they're getting 2023 updates. Now I've been getting security patches, but now I receive Android 13 and it brings April security patches to the LG Wing. Let's give a refresher. The LG Wing got a 6.8 inch 1080p POLED display with a secondary display, which is 3.9 inches. It has a 765G processor with eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, SD card support, triple cameras on the back. You got a pop-up camera in the front. You got a 4,000 milliamp battery and you can still get this device for $299. I will leave all the links down in the description below. But I want to do something different in this video. I'm going to show you and give you guys my thoughts about the new update. And then I'm going to go to the park and we're going to do this video vlog style because I absolutely love these cameras on this device. So let's have some fun. All right, guys. So here it is. Android 13 on the LG Wing. This is the Verizon wireless version of the LG Wing. All right. So let's talk about it. First thing, let's look at the aesthetics, right? Uh, you you won't see any changes here uh, looking at the device itself. Now, we all knew that when we looked at the LG V60 and the LG Velvet when they reached Android 13, we didn't see no changes here when it comes down to icons and, uh, you know, everything else in between. You know, whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing that's here or there, you're not getting material you on here again, whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we already know what we was going to get looking at the, uh, the LG V60. Uh, but uh, yes, you still have your wallpapers and themes is still here. Also, you got your always on display here, uh, which is really nice. You got your theme store here, which is really good. Uh, you got your widgets and stuff like that. Uh, when you go into your settings, Again, everything is pretty much the same here. Now, again, you do have a secondary display. Now, I just want to remind everybody this, right? Since we saw Android 13 on the LG V60, we didn't see no, no uh, visual changes. Doesn't mean that there was no changes. Uh, we had some under the hood stuff with optimization and performance, which performance on the LG wing was already good. Now it does feel a lot snappier uh, as far as the cameras. I'm going to show you in this video some camera footage. Uh, also, uh, when they look at the speed of the device, performance, performance has been a very good. If, as you can see, the swivel is a whole lot faster than it was before. So that is a good thing. Now, before the update, sometimes I did have some lagginess when it come down to opening up the swivel. But uh, with the new update, it's so smooth and it feels, I mean, it, the look and feel of it is so good. And I do want to say this, again, this is Android. If you don't like the stock uh, LG icons, if you don't like the stock, uh, you know, anything that's stock on the device, you can always download a launcher and make your device look and feel the way you want to. Now, I've made videos about this. If you don't like the stock launcher uh, that LG provides, if you want Material U, you can download the Pixel Launcher and you can put it on this device to make it look like 
uh, material you if you like it. So I know a lot of people always talk about uh, well they don't see no changes. I don't they don't see anything on the surface. But uh, what LG have done over the years when they updated their devices, you seen things under the hood, which is that's the, the perfect thing right there. You want optimization with faster and smoother animations. Uh, you want optimization when it comes down to speed. All right, so this is the front-facing camera on the LG Wing. Again, this camera system is absolutely marvelous. I really do like what I'm seeing here. Now, don't get me wrong, I saw the dynamic range and uh, the background, yes, it is, it's a little blowed out a little bit, uh, which is fine because it's an overcast sky. It's no clouds today, so uh, I don't see, you wouldn't see no too much detail if it was uh, not overcast. But uh, yeah, looking at the front-facing camera here is, 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 uh, is doable. Now, is it one of the best front-facing cameras out there? No. But uh, is it a very good front-facing camera? Absolutely. I would always recommend using the rear camera uh, uh, on the LG Wing, uh, but the front-facing camera is, is really good. Now, this is a pop-up camera which is, is really good. And one of the things that I really do like about this pop-up camera is it, it, it gives the display a complete, no punch holes, no nothing. You get a complete viewing experience uh, when using the LG Wing. Uh, this, and also it's very smooth as I'm walking. So here it is, uh, the LG Wing front-facing camera. And as I hit the dog, and look, I'm using this in auto mode. One of the things that LG didn't include in the front-facing camera is the ability to use Pro Video. So if I had the ability to use Pro Video, I might can scale it down a little bit uh, and stuff like that. But this is auto mode, and I'm using external microphones, so I'm not using the device microphones at all. As y'all guys know, I talk about this. I do not use internal microphones on no device, but uh, this is going to be... Uh, external microphones that I'm using, the Zoom F6, along with the Rode Video Mic Goes, uh, shooting this part of the video. Once again, this is the front face of camera of the LG Wii. Look, one of the things I want to discuss, right, is that I've been out here filming for hours. Whether that be B-roll or everything, it's extremely hot out here, right? I mean, the sun's starting to come up a little bit. And one of the things I do want to mention, as a lot of devices that a lot of people have been talking about, uh, the overheating issues, right? Overheating, everything is always hot. Oh, these devices can't run uh, because it's, it's hot. You can't run in direct sunlight, stuff like this. LG devices has been true and tested. I have not received not one overheating warning and this phone is extremely hot. I'm shooting it at 4K, 4K 60. And one of the things that I do want to mention is that it's funny how your older devices never had these overheating issues, but the newer devices do. Listen, a lot of people say, well, don't shoot in direct sunlight. Don't shoot in, you know, in hot conditions. Well, I've been rolling for hours on this LG devices, shooting footage, shoot B-roll, doing all kinds of vlogging, and this phone ain't giving no overheating warning. It's not, it's, it's running like a champ. I mean, I'm, I'm overall impressed at the footage, and I'm overall impressed, and that may be Android 13. Android 13 might have something to do with it, right? Android 13 might have controlled some of the thermals, but I never had an overheating issue uh, with this device at all. And I mean, look, I've been shooting out here in the sun, but look how bright it is. The sun is out. The sun is out. 
and I'm not getting no overheat. And I've been out here for hours shooting footage and I didn't get any overheating issues here. Why well, I tell you, whoo, wow. All right, guys, so I want to close this video out with this, right? I absolutely love the LG Wing. Android 13 has made it faster. It's very improved. The fingerprint scan is very improved. I really do like it. Uh, so look, we know that this is going to be the absolutely last operating system for LG, right? As they promised way back when the uh, mobile department closed back in 2021. So they promised that they was gonna give you all the way up to Android 13. Now, I think we're gonna be on quarterly security patches in 2023, which is fine. So we will discuss on the alternatives, what's next for these LG devices once we get into 2024. But into 2023, we are fine. You have months and months and months of use out of this device. And even once we get into 2024, uh, we will make some decisions on what should we do. And I still think that th these devices will be great. Now, once the devices stop getting security patches, then we may have to, you know, make changes as far as, you know, what we do on the internet and stuff like that. But as long as uh, the Google Play Store keep updating their apps and you don't download third-party apps on your, LGBs, uh, on your LG Wings, you'll be fine. Now, this is going to affect the LG V60, the LG Wing, the LG Velvet, and other LG devices that no longer get support. But in 2023, with all these updates and enhancements, I think you're going to be fine. I absolutely love the LG Wing for what it can do. What it can do is it has pin support. It has all the features that you know and love. So I really do like that. All right, another episode of the Odie but goodie. Oh, man, LG Wing, Android 13. How do you like it? Do you have an LG Wing? Man, if you do, do you use the device to the full of its potential? If you don't use your LG Wing to the full of its potential, you missing out. This is Dr. Tech Preacher. See you guys on the next video. Peace.